Hello everyone. In our last video, we have discussed about basic STP and rapid uh, spanning tree protocol. Like uh, we have discussed about the STP terms, in which we have discussed about what are the root bridge, non-root bridge, BPDU, and how STP will work. So our next topic is STP ports. Okay. So we have. Port number one is known as designated ports. Designated ports are always forwarding ports, and one, uh, all the ports are designated of root switch. Root switch means root bridge. So designated ports are those who can send the information and who can receive the information at one time. So root bridges, all ports are designated. The second term. is the root port root ports are basically made on non root bridges non root bridges and non root bridges the best port the best port with best cost to reach root bridge is known as root port it can also be forwarding and it can also receive the information the third port named is blocked port so blocked port are the ports those would not forward frames from their interface they can only receive the information so these are the stp ports besides this we have another ports like backup port we have alternate port but that ports are secondary ports mainly if you go for the practical work of stp then you will find these ports besides this we have stp states <clears throat> and rapid spanning tree protocol states first we will check spanning tree states we have disable state blocking state listening learning and forwarding okay in stp these three states are converted into discarding state like rstp is rapid spanning tree protocol so the three state first three states are known as discarding state the last two states learning and forwarding are same in rstp okay so first we need to understand about the states the total stp convergence time is 50 second okay so in which 2 second is the hello timer and listening will take 15 second learning will take 15 second and the process from disable to blocking or disable to forwarding it will take 18 second extra so 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 15 35 and 35 plus 15 is 50 the total stp convergence time is stp so this is the states of stp now after the states we need to know about one basic concepts in spanning tree protocol which name is port fast so port fast is the key term used in our spanning tree protocol basically port fast feature is feature is enabled used to connect only single workstations to avoid the loop like in port fast the benefit of port fast is this it bypass our listening state like 15 second learning state and automatically bypass all the states into forwarding state so port fast feature is used to bypass the listening and learning state in stp thank you so much